networks question based upon the domain name system the, we have to consider a domain name www.gate.org.in to be resolved by a dns resolver we have to assume that there are no resource records cached anywhere across the dns servers and the mechanism being used is iterative for resolving the query we need to find out the number of dns query response pairs which would be involved in complete resolution of the given domain name so in the iterative mechanism what we usually do we have the local dns server from where the requests are sent to the root server the root dns server followed by we have the top level domain or the tld server and at the end we have the authoritative server involving these three steps the given domain name is completely resolved and the way in which these requests travel is something like this from local server it will be going to root and returning back following the iterative approach in recursive it is different then it goes to tld server response then it goes to authoritative server and comes back with a response and at the end the given domain name is completely resolved but in our case as we can see in this address we are having .org as well as .n so there are two top level domains involved in the address so in this case to resolve the given address what we will need is there would be two different tld servers needed to resolve both of them so first we'll be having the local dns server that is same the root server is also same but here we'll be having first tld server for resolving the dot in because that is the outermost domain we are having after that we will be having tld server for resolving this dot org domain and at the end there would be authoritative server that would stay the same so now in this case how would be the request response mechanism work in the iterative way first we will be sending to root response then resolve the dot in come back then resolve this dot org by the second tld server come back and finally go to the authoritative server and return back with the resolved address so how many pairs of request response are involved over here one for this root second pair for resolving dot in third pair for resolving this dot org and the last fourth pair to get the complete resolved address from the authoritative server so for the given domain name how many request response pair did we need four pairs in order to completely resolve the given domain name if there would have been just dot org and not dot in as the extra domain attached to that then we would have only needed three using the first approach but in this case we need required two different top level domain servers so the correct answer would be four